Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring the video. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to be discussing motion sensors. Now, I covered this technology briefly in a smart home tour that I uploaded at the back end of last year. These are called MMW sensors or millimeter wave sensors and they're the next best thing in present sensing and today you're gonna to learn why. Until now, to sense something moving, you'd have used something like this, a passive infrared sensor or a PIR sensor. And these basically measure light emitting from objects, and this is obviously invisible light, and or heat energy coming off a person or an animal or something within the room. This makes sensors like these, the older school PIR sensors, great for things like intruder alarms. They've been used in intruder alarms since about 1970. But the problem is they are dumb. They can only report one thing, and that's if one thing is moving or if it is isn't. This means if you come into a room and sit down, the sensor can detect you and trigger, but as soon as you stop moving, even if you remain in the room and in view of the sensor, the sensor will trigger again, possibly leaving you in the dark, turning your smart home into a smart nightmare. Now, we all know AI is taking over the world, and recently scientists have combined sonar from your Wi-Fi router with AI to generate real-time 3D pose estimation. And then he goes on to say, Suddenly, AI has turned every Wi-Fi router into a camera that can work in the dark, specially tuned for tracking living beings. Wrong. It's just wrong. Wi-Fi routers don't have sonar and cannot guess your location. But you know what can? The millimeter wave inside of this sensor. And today, we're gonna to take a look at it. So this is our old type of PIR sensor here. And then this is the new one, just so you guys can see. Well, this isn't a PIR sensor, this is millimeter wave. This is the newer sensor. You can see the difference of what these things actually look like. This is just like a plastic put. And no batteries with this. It needs a constant power supply, USB-C, and it does come with a big cable. So up here in this corner of the room, I've already got a CCTV camera and a wireless access point, so I may as well have this the corner with all of the gadgets in. So let's put this here, and then our new millimeter wave sensor should just go onto there like that, and there she is. I can now angle her down looking into the studio. Hopefully this is gonna work. So this is where the setup mode gets really interesting. We've got fall detection, zone detection, or sleep monitoring. Now the important thing with this is once it's set up, you can't move it. So once the sensor's in place, you've got to be happy with it. So there we are. You can see that it's picked me up. I'm in the room and this is our sensor. What we have to do is map out this entire room by simply just walking around it. So this is basically our room. As you can see, here's the edges that it's mapped out and we are basically stood right in the middle. So what you can do now is create zones within the room. So let's just say the TV over there, I wanna turn that TV on as I approach it. So let's create a zone over here. And then in the middle, where we are currently, I'm gonna create a brand new zone called unboxing table. And there we go. As you can see, we've got our three zones within the room, the unboxing table, the podcast set, and the DIY set. So now that we've defined our zones within the room, let's test it and see if it actually works. So I'm gonna place this lamp on the unboxing table and let's go back into HomeKit and see if we can configure an automation to make this lamp turn on and off. But here's the kicker, only when we approach and leave this table. Okay, so this lamp right here, I'm gonna go into HomeKit and tie an automation to this. Studio unboxing table. Tick that, and we're going to say when occupancy is detected, we're gonna turn on this lamp. And then we'll add another automation that says if occupancy isn't detected in here, turn off this lamp. Okay, so if all is working well, if I leave this area, this lamp should turn off. So let's give it a go. Walk back in. Walk back in, if it comes back on, then that's just silly. <laughs> I told you! 
Okay, I'm walking back and over into the DIY set. That lamp has gone off. Oh. <laughs> it worked! That's unreal! There's no way! So you see back to that analogy that I did at the start of the video where I was talking about original motion sensors and how I really wouldn't use them to trigger a lighting scenario or a scene in a smart home because they're just too unreliable. Well, this completely eradicates that need of unreliable motion sensors because this is reliable. It works, like it genuinely works. And if I stayed here and I was dead still, it still knows I'm here because it's millimeter wave. I've had these things deployed in my house for almost three or four months now, but resetting this up in the office and just doing a demo for you guys with this lamp has reignited my love for this millimeter wave technology. So hopefully now you can see why you would never buy one of these passive infrared sensors again, because with this new millimeter wave tech, these really are now a thing of the past. And when I see them deployed, I just think of, how many different ways you could implement a millimeter wave sensor. They work really, really well. And I am really only touching the surface here. If you are a serious smart home nerd, you can attach these things to Home Assistant. You can attach these things to AI to build up profiles. They are nuts. But I'm just happy that my little lamp here turns on and off when I leave and enter the unboxing set. But with that being said, guys, I need to thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace. I'm sure by now all of you know exactly what Squarespace is, but if you've been living under a rock or under a millimeter wave sensor, I'll let you know. They make websites. Well, you make the website on their platform by basically choosing from one of the thousands of readily available professionally designed templates. You choose one of them and then make it yours. So it basically is like, copy my homework, but do it better. Making a website basically simplified. There is very little to do to get a good looking website on Squarespace. They also take it further as well. They've got certain things like code injection if you're a little bit more advanced and you want some code on your site. What about e-commerce or selling things? Well, you can do that on your Squarespace website too. It's built right in and they've also got SEO, which is a really cool tool for seeing how your website is going to appear on search engines like Google. Should people come across it, you can see what they're gonna see which is powerful. So if you guys would like to save yourself 10% off your first Squarespace purchase or domain, that's right, Squarespace do domains as well, simply visit our link in the description or go to squarespace.com forward slash techflow. But with that being said, guys, I hopefully you've learned a thing or two today about the new technology that is millimeter wave and how it can sense yourself to a brighter or smarter future. Anyway, guys, with that being said, my name's been Alex and I'll see you next time.